and see whether we are ready for that. Is it important for us to be gathered here and be talking about women's political participation? Does it matter? Huh? Does it matter? Why? Why does it matter? Why does women's political participation matter? If you can help me with the mic, uh, Teresa, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think if we have more women in, in, in political positions, <coughs> they'll be able to, to address issues that affect women. So for me, I think I'll feel, okay, I'll, I'll bet is having more women in power because I know that if I go and say my sister, there are children who are having issues with sedentary pets. She will relate, she will understand better, and she will, she's likely to act on that mm -hmm. compared to a man. So right. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, women's lives matter. That's why we need uh, political representation even in all these areas. Uh huh. Thank you. Let's see others. We'll try to sp spread it. Okay, um, the, the general population in Zimbabwe, for instance, mm -hmm. is made up of more women mm -hmm. than men. Mm -hmm. So in that regard, you need to consider mm -hmm. um, the needs of women, their rights and mm -hmm. their concerns. Otherwise, it will affect even on development. Mm -hmm. So you cannot mm -hmm. ignore them because mm -hmm. they are a significant number. And if you ignore them, then it is going to affect the development of everything else. Mm -hmm. yes. So more women than men, but a few voices of uh, women. Yes. Uh, hence, um, when you look at Absolutely. development, yes. our development is not gender sensitive. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Let's let's. Uh, there's another hand there. From there, I'll take uh, the gentleman at the back. Okay. Thank you so much. I think uh, politics is a getaway to development. Mm -hmm. is it has been highlighted by my fellow uh, lady there. Uh, women, we, co we constitute a bigger percentage of the country's uh, population. And also, women are the major consumers of sex delivery. And also, women are less, co co less corrupt in development. Thank you. I, 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 I picked up three very important terms. Politics is a getaway to Politics is a gateway to development. Secondly, women are the major consumers of service. What? Service delivery. Right now, where I come from, from Pulawai, there's a shortage of water. If you go to the polls and then count how many men are there, how I many women are there. And then if you read the stories about water shortage, listen to who's speaking about water shortage. It's the men who don't even go to fetch water. The third one that I got to meet him was on um, corruption. corruption. Women are less corrupt than, than men. I'm not sure about that one. But, yeah, 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 figures don't lie. Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, yes, let's, let's give uh, the gentleman who has been sent here by uh, the Minister of State. Uh, Melissa to represent the province. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> the corruption thing has been all over <laughs> by the event. So I will not say much on corruption. But women, they have mother love. So they're a bit kind when it comes to the, fact, uh, the corruption issues. Also, every Almost every basic commodities to do with women much. But there is a problem with our culture now. Whereby we grow up seeing women, they, are, they should be submit to their husband. Uh -huh. That's the main challenge, they, especially this side of the African region. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I want to, you to hold on to that one. You know, don't put a lot of emphasis on, on it. Women have the motherly love. Women care, you know. It has some certain connotations. You, you know, we'll talk about it uh, uh, later on. Uh, that mother love, that care, you know, it takes away that aggressiveness 
from, for, from women. Um, anyway, we'll talk about it later. But thank you for that contribution. Let, let me hear contributions from this side. It looks like it's a, it's a dead area, this site. <laughs> I might uh, I think it's not so dead. <laughs> um, I, I think that uh, politics is the backbone of a society, so it cuts across issues, economic, uh, social issues. So it's very important that uh, so women sometimes who are mostly the face of some of these challenges that are faced in communities are represented. So the, uh, when women are not in politics, then they are not represented. And uh, secondly, I think... Um, studies <laughs> have shown that women are more responsive to needs of their communities and their citizens. And in countries, I mean, if we look at the recent example of how some women, uh, women-led countries have been more responsive to the coronavirus, that actually shows how uh, the, the, the gap that would be covered if women participate in politics. So I think it's very important that women are represented in politics. Mm, thank you. Very powerful points. Uh, is, and, uh, indeed, the site is not related. <laughs> I think you have represented the men this site very well. Thank you for representing. You have actually challenged one of them. He wants to say something. Let's give him a mic. Thank you very much. I think he, this will help us in terms of development, like other colleagues said. Since uh, they say behind every successful man, there's a woman. So I think uh, we need to put that woman. Hmm? Okay, beside whatever it is, but uh, mm. my emphasis is based on the, the woman implements behind mm. that man. Mm. Why can't we bring that woman uh, at the front? Mm. In terms of, okay, mm. okay, at the same table, then mm. in terms of the policy in, uh, implementations, mm. she implements while well leading face to face with, with, the, with the man. Mm. I think we can have good results. Uh -huh. So it also enhanced development mm -hmm. since e e gender equality applies in terms of the policy making. Mm -hmm. You got the lesson. It's no longer behind. <laughs> it's beside, don't you? But we are here now to say, in front, in front of. In front. Right, in front of. A successful man. There's a what? There's a strong woman. Not just a woman, but a strong what? Woman. We want also to say, wherever there is development in the community, there is what? There's a strong woman. There is a lessons, what? Mm. And when we talk about politics, please, when we talk about politics, uh, I want us to look at it broadly. Because to me, politics is broader than uh, uh, just the local government and what. Politics actually even starts at home. Politics starts at home. It starts at churches. There's a lot of politics, you know. You find that uh, father is the leader, is one who speaks. If he passes away and the son has grown up, all of a sudden the son is now the one who speaks. There's a lot of politics there. We'll talk about that later on. Let's, let's, let's give an opportunity to say something. Oh, okay. Um, I, allow me to maybe say something from your introductions. I found you uh, on the podium there. And you said, if, if it's not now, then when? So I, I, I got so, 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 what, so interested in this seminar already that we, we, we are starting now. Mm. I'm sure from, from our opening banks from Priscilla, mm. there is a starting now, mm. which is going maybe to go out the end. Women, women are directly involved, like everyone else was saying, mm. in the especially consumption of safe delivery. Mm. So I think getting an opinion, mm -hmm. getting a decision from the person who is uh, the most affected, the most uh, directly involved uh, person, it makes a lot of sense. Mm. Like mm. you were saying, if you go to a bore system right now, mm. calculate the numbers there. That's right. Go to where people are fetching firewood. Mm. Mm. You, it's, it's in our culture, it's a taboo for a man to carry Mm. A, a finger of one over their head. Mm. So mm. when you get an opinion from the person who is affected, mm. it becomes more realistic. Mm -hmm. It becomes uh, something which can be implemented right, uh, I mean, um, affecting the correct uh, issues that, that is needed to be addressed. That's right. So at times we, we tend to 
to get um, opinions and decision making from someone who is not even related to whatever they are talking about. They That's don't right. even have an understanding of what they are talking about. That's so right. I think this is this is I, I'm, I'm loving this uh, mm. arrangement altogether. Thank uh -huh. you so much. In short, what she's uh, uh, she's saying, um, thank you, thank you, madam, is that. Um, in terms of our approach to stories, I want us to start using the bottom-up approach. Let's start with the people who are affected. Let's start with the people on the ground, the grassroots, before you rush to get a comment from your resident minister, before you rush to get a comment from this certain official. Go to them armed with views, perspective, contributions, issues from the people on the ground who are affected. If you start from there, the moment they raise certain issues, you only have the opportunity to take those issues back to them. Are we, are we together? So as you list your sources, as, as you do your interviews, the approach is that you start with the people where? Grassroots. And thank you for that. Let's, let's, let's move on and look at two more issues then. We'll, uh, um, yes, uh, madam. She's the last one, then we want to move on here. Yeah. Yes, just a quick one. Uh, generally, it is always been saying, if you empower a woman, you have already empowered the nation. Mm -hmm. So why not? Let's us walk the talk. Thank you. If you empower a woman, you you have empowered the. Let's start doing that. Let's empower the women and empower the nation.